Welcome to Baseball Action ID, the revolutionary program that helps coaches to understand their players' natural motor preferences. Training and instructing players without understanding these preferences is like trying to solve a crime without collecting fingerprints. As a coach, not understanding your players' motor preferences limits your ability to effectively guide and instruct them. Baseball Action ID helps coaches to uncover these crucial fingerprints for each individual athlete, which not only limits the risk of regression but also enhances their natural qualities and helps to prevent injuries. Join us and take the first step towards unlocking your player's true potential. Let's investigate the case of Kyle Cody, a 28-year-old pitcher who has already undergone two severe surgeries at a young age, and identify a few issues from a motor preference standpoint that may have contributed to both his injuries and the changes in his mechanics from his 2013 to 2016 self. As depicted in the image, during his college years, he appeared to be quite resilient. Despite participating in summer ball, following a long college season, he was able to maintain his stamina. Additionally, he was able to pitch both as a starter and out of the bullpen without any issues, and did not experience a reduction in the number of innings pitched. This overview illustrates that once Kyle Cody became a professional player, his overall durability appeared to decrease. This decline was attributed to several arm injuries, which ultimately resulted in two major surgeries, Tommy John surgery and shoulder surgery. Kyle Cody's profile is one that is not known to me personally, as I have not had the opportunity to meet or speak with him or anyone who has worked with him. However, I have conducted extensive research on him through various sources on the internet. Despite not being able to profile him firsthand, I am confident in my understanding of the motor skill group to which he belongs, particularly during his early years in 2013 when he was healthy and durable, indicating that he was primarily operating within his individual natural motor preferences. Kyle Cody, a professional baseball player, belongs to the distal motor skill group, characterized by a weight distribution of 50% between the legs, a tendency for more knee flexion with shoulders positioned ahead of the hips, elbows working in coordination with the knees, a tendency to organize the body by placing the forearms first, the ability to perform hip and shoulder separation during movement, a dominant muscle chain in the front of the upper body, weight distributed towards the midsole slash heels, high level of mobility in the height of the body, symmetrical movement patterns and excellent eye hand and eye foot coordination. Individuals in the distal motor skill group have a unique way of moving that is characterized by fine motor skills, spatial awareness, and the ability to think and react quickly. They possess high levels of mobility in their hips and shoulders, allowing them to move independently from each other. They also use a crossed muscle chain, where different muscle groups work together to perform movements in an economical, efficient, and energy-saving and healthy way. The first motor preference disruptor to focus on, is a change in weight distribution. As seen in the previous slide, during the observation phase, Kyle's weight was on his heels, indicating an anterior muscle chain dominant athlete as shown in picture number one from 2013. However, during his professional career, his weight shifted to his forefoot, indicating a posterior muscle chain dominant athlete. This shift in weight distribution can have a significant impact on overall movement quality and coordination, as it creates unnatural tension in the ankle and wrist. Specifically, for Kyle, this change in weight distribution and tension in the ankle and wrist is working against his body. The second motor preference disruption for Kyle is related to his posture and body organization. As previously discussed, individuals in the distal motor skill group typically have a tendency towards greater knee flexion and shoulder positioning that is well ahead of the hips. They also tend to organize their body by placing their forearms first, followed by the rest of the body. In 2013, Kyle exhibited these characteristics, but as he progressed in his professional career, his posture and body organization changed and became the opposite of what is typical for individuals in the distal motor skill group. The third motor preference disruptor refers to the phenomenon where an athlete, during the preparation phase, primarily uses the opposite motor chain from their natural inclination. For example, an athlete who is naturally a posterior muscle chain athlete may begin using their anterior muscle chain during preparation phase. This can lead to an increased stress on the shoulder and elbow, as the body struggles to make adjustments to the unfamiliar movement patterns. This is demonstrated in the example of Kyle, who switched from primarily using his posterior muscle chain in 2013, to using his anterior muscle chain during preparation phase in 2022. The fourth motor preference disruptor refers to the process of altering a player's natural and healthy throwing arm position, as determined by the baseball action ID approach. This approach takes into account a player's having either a vertical or horizontal orientation in combination with a high or low mobile point to determine their natural arm position. By forcing Kyle, 
who is originally a horizontally oriented player, to adopt properties of a vertically oriented player, he was put at a significant risk for injury. This process of altering his natural mechanics put him at risk for injury. To identify the most suitable arm slot for Kyle, it's crucial to evaluate the combination of his vertical or horizontal organization and his high or low mobile point. By analyzing his 2013 movement patterns and factoring in his membership in the distal family, along with his horizontal orientation, it can be determined that a horizontal low mobile point arm slot is the most beneficial for Kyle as a pitcher. It appears that Kyle has a right motor shoulder, which means that he is short in the back and long in front. This can be confirmed by analyzing information from 2013 and observing that he is indeed shorter in the back and has a longer action in the deceleration phase. Additionally, there is a significant difference in the length of his arm path during the deceleration phase in 2022, further supporting the presence of a right motor shoulder. Based on the characteristics of an anterior muscle chain dominant athlete, it is known that due to the rotation of the bones in the lower body, they will typically remain in adduction, as seen in Kyle's 2013 picture where his swing leg crosses in front of his front leg at the end of his delivery. However, later on in 2022, it can be observed that Kyle remains in abduction, with his hips staying open, which is a deviation from the typical pattern for an anterior muscle chain dominant athlete. The reason for Kyle Cody's shift in mechanics and release point is currently unknown. It could have been due to various factors, such as changes made by coaches who wanted or taught they had to clean up or fix his mechanics, or a desire to achieve different numbers or pitch shaping. As a result of these changes, Kyle not only became a different pitcher, but also a different mover. Since the start of his professional career, there have been many changes, and currently he is moving in a way that is opposite of his individual natural motor preferences. This deviation from his natural motor preferences has resulted in his body working against him rather than working in his favor, which has led to severe injuries, resulting in two surgeries. We are truly appreciative of you taking the time to visit and delve into the Baseball Action ID information. With so much information available, we greatly value your interest in our analysis and insights. We hope that the information provided was informative and beneficial in helping you better understand baseball performance. For more information and to stay updated on the latest insights, you can visit our website at www.baseballactionity.com or email us at baseballactionity at gmail.com. If you want to maximize the potential of your players and keep them injury-free throughout their careers, be sure to keep an eye out for more exciting updates and analyzes on motor preferences in baseball.